Good afternoon and Happy New Year. First, I'd like to thank the Rhode Island National Guard, the Rhode Island State Police, and the hard working men and women of the Convention Center uh, for, for setting up this ceremony today. I'd also like to thank the Governor's staff. Uh, this is a wonderful day for all of us and for the state of Rhode Island. It is a tremendous honor to have taken the oath as Rhode Island's 30th Secretary of State before my incredibly supportive family, my friends, colleagues, dignitaries, and the good people of the state of Rhode Island. I want to take this opportunity to thank the 29th Secretary of State, Nellie Gorbea, for her years of exemplary public service. I also want to sincerely thank the people of Rhode Island for entrusting me with the responsibilities of this office. I take them very seriously, and I know that in my capacity as Rhode Island's chief elections official, I have the solemn duty to serve as one of the stewards of our democracy at a time when democracy itself is in the balance both around the world and at home. It is essential for us to acknowledge that American democracy is not guaranteed. It is not an inherent right. Its preservation relies on advanced and active citizenship, for our democracy cannot survive if our citizens are merely spectators. Democracy's preservation requires a commitment to the truth, transparency in government, fair, free, and secure elections that always err on the side of enfranchisement. Our democracy requires absolute adherence to the peaceful transfer of power after an election is concluded and certified and a fully functioning American democracy embraces the patriotic, patriotic notion that our political opponents are not our enemies. They are our neighbors, our fellow Rhode Islanders, our fellow Americans. The late great civil rights leader and Congressman John Lewis reminded us that democracy is not a state, it is an act. Informed, robust, and civil civic engagement is the foundation of the democratic republic in which we all live. And I intend to do everything I can as Secretary of State to shore up that foundation at every turn. It is the honor of a lifetime to serve the state in this role. I would like to thank Governor McKee for giving me the opportunity to, to address you here today and congratulate him, Lieutenant Governor Matos, Treasurer Diosa, and Attorney General Narona. I offer you my best wishes for a successful four years. Thank you very much.